really drives me crazy. You don't have a play about the choke. Hello you guys, welcome to or back to my channel. This week is a very exciting video. I kind of impulsively bought a phone last night. Not impulsively, but I've been really thinking about just getting a new phone for the past, I don't know, little while I wanna say. And yesterday I actually ended up calling a place, seeing if they had any refurbished phones that maybe I could get a bit cheaper rather than buying a brand new iPhone just because they are quite expensive. And I also recently just bought an iPad so I wasn't looking to spend a a ton of money on a new phone so they actually had one iPhone 11 Pro and I went right after dinner just before they closed and I ended up buying it so I will quickly show you guys so this is the iPhone 11 Pro that I bought I'm gonna do an unboxing but because it is a refurbished phone there's no plastic to peel off or anything apart from the charger cable and the actual literal box I just got the black iPhone 11 it's 256 gigabytes and if you guys are interested I can do a what's on my iPhone 11 so if that intrigues you at all then definitely give this video a thumbs up and comment down below if you'd like to see that video or any other videos that you'd like to see because I'm so excited. I have been needing a new phone. I currently have the iPhone 6s Plus. It's just a really bad phone. <laughs> the 6s Plus can be great, but my actual personal phone is just awful. The volume, I don't know what went wrong with it, but I can't hear if I'm on the phone with someone unless it's on speaker. So it's kind of just like an issue and it just takes forever to load. If I take a picture, it takes like five years just so that I can see it. Otherwise it's like super pixelated. Because this has the three cameras and the quality is going to be a lot better on this. I'm going to hold off on buying a camera for my YouTube channel just until later in the summer, maybe around my birthday in August. But in the meantime, I'm just going to record with my new phone and I'm so excited because I took a test picture on this yesterday and the quality is amazing so I cannot wait to film more videos with you guys and to show you. So let's go ahead and open this. Alright you guys, so here is the iPhone. I'm just going to go ahead and unbox this. The back side, it just has has the information about it, 256 gigabytes. So this is the iPhone 11 Pro. I got it in the color black and it just has this backing. It's just glass, I believe. And then it just has the three cameras at the top. And then I'm not too sure what that is. I'm assuming maybe like the flash or something, but it is just this beautiful color. I don't gotta take another drink. Sitting back enjoying that town complex. So this is the phone and so because this is a refurbished phone, someone previously owned it for three months so the previous owner did Dang it, I can't even see the scratch. Oh, right here. It's like the tiniest little scratch right there, but I do not mind. The price was honestly a steal, so I had to grab it as I only had one left. This phone originally is insanely expensive and I did not want to pay that much, but I am so, so happy with this purchase. I would do it 50 times again. So I'm just gonna put this aside and I will show you guys the box. This just comes with the stickers and then I'm assuming just like some manuals. Kind of the boring stuff in my opinion. Next it comes with the charger and I'm actually just going to take off the plastic. So here we just have the charger. It's just the very standard box charger. And then this, I was actually very surprised that it still has the same charger as my iPhone 6S Plus, but it also has the ability to wirelessly charge. So I'm very, very happy about that because I thought that I would have to buy all new chargers because my iPad Air does not have this type of charger. It has a different kind of port. So I thought I would have to invest and spend even more money on new chargers, but I'm so happy that I don't. There's a little look that you and all your friends give. There we go. So this is just a regular charger. Pretty good size. Oh, this is different. My current phone, I have like a little headphone jack right here and I'm guessing I won't be able to use headphones anymore so I'm going to have to get an adapter which I did not think about and then that is about it for the box. So now we just have the phone. I'm just going to turn it on. There we are. 
Perfect, so here we have the phone. It's just the default settings. There's nothing crazy about it. My phone does have this, which I never really use. It just comes with like your basic apps and everything. There are some differences though. I'm currently still kind of getting used to the whole process of the newer phones with iOS, I don't even know, I think 13 it is, but you pull down from the top right to bring down kind of like the menu which you used to scroll up with on the older phones. So here you just have like all your basic things and you can add more shortcuts here within the settings. And then if you just pull down from the very top, you have your notifications and then you can I think swipe for the flashlight. This phone as well as some other ones, they have haptic touch. So essentially you just need to hold down and then it like clicks back and then the flash turns on. So then you just click it again. It's like a deep click and then you'll feel it kind of like jolt back. So I'm just going to open up to random apps. So if I just pull up from the bottom and kind of just hold it there rather than swiping up immediately, it'll bring up every app that I've recently used rather than double tapping on the button because this phone does not have a button like the older phones. This way you can just swipe up and get rid of all the background apps. The camera, I will just quickly take a picture, or actually, I should have one here. So this picture I took the other day just of a Fruitopia jar, or sorry, carton, and the quality is insane. I don't know if it's just because my eyesight is really bad, but the quality is like amazing. I'm so excited to officially film. It's kind of different just with taking screenshots. So you have to click this side and this button to screenshot. And then there you have the screenshot and then you can tap it and you can mark up however you like. So if I want to do a highlighter, I can just scribble over that, click done, delete that screenshot. That is about it for the main stuff, but I will show you guys in another video if you're interested what I keep on my iPhone once I do the swap and I can show you how I organize just because this is the default setting I believe. Oh, and one more thing about this phone is that it does have Face ID. I have not set up the Face ID yet just because I haven't put in my SIM card yet, but I'm very excited to try out the Face ID. I've never used it before. And if you do want to talk to Siri, you just hold down the side button. Hey Siri, what's the weather outside? So right now it's 11 degrees. You can use Apple Pay on here, but I'm pretty sure most phones are able to use Apple Pay for a while now. To switch between apps, it was just what I showed you before. You just kind of hold it up and pause and then you can get rid of it. Or another thing that I also learned, let's say I'm in this app, you can just switch apps through the bottom, which I think is really cool. And you also can wirelessly charge. So I think I might invest in a wireless charger soon. I'm definitely not rushing to spend more money. So I think within the next week or so, I'll probably order one. I am definitely looking forward to showing you guys what's on my phone once I actually add like my background and just make it custom to me and how I like my phone. So stay tuned for that. You guys, I just got my new phone. The quality is actually absurd. That is amazing. I cannot wait to film so many more videos and just show you guys the whole backup process, switching SIM cards and everything. That took quite a little while, but wow, I cannot wait to film more videos in the future. So definitely stay tuned for those. I will see you guys in my next video. You're looking for a girl that'll treat you right. You're looking for in the daytime with the light. You might be the type of